Lifetime Achievement Award goes to our esteemed, esteemed colleague, Marsha Humpel. <laughs> Marsha Earl Humble has been immersed in the profession of music therapy and the association for more than two decades. Although Marsha retired in 2009 after 24 years with the Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities in Cleveland, Ohio, she continues an active role with a private practice as, and also as a supervisor of music therapy practicum students at Cleveland State University. A fervent believer in continuing education, she has presented Institute CMTE's concurrent sessions and a webinar on music therapy in young children. Marcia has presented internationally and at conferences of related professions. She has guest lectured as well as at a variety of colleges and campuses. A prolific author and editor, she has written and edited numerous books, such as Early Childhood Music Therapy and Autism Spectrum Disorders with Petra Kern, and Effective Clinical Practice in Music Therapy, Early Childhood and School age Educational Settings with Cynthia Caldwell. She's also authored books, book chapters, and articles for a variety of publications such as the online magazine Imagine, the AMTA Early Childhood Network, Newsworth, oops, let me try that again, the, the AMTA, <coughs> AMTA Early Childhood Newsletter, Music Therapy Perspectives, and more. Reflecting her passion for early childhood and early childhood education, Marsha co-founded the AMTA Early Childhood Network and began the Early Childhood Newsletter, which later blossomed into the online news, news magazine, Imagine. And right now she also serves on the editorial board of Imagine. Marsha has gone above and beyond to ably represent music therapy and or AMTA for projects, of, projects or events, including Sesame Street, SAMHSA, and the U.S. Department of Education. She is chair of the Strategic Priority on Music Therapy and Autism Spectrum Disorders Work Group and a member of the Publication Task Force. She has held three different positions while serving on the AMTA Board of Directors. Marsha personifies the very important qualities of humility, diplomacy, genuineness, genuineness selflessness, generosity, and creativity. She also contributed her organizational skills in intellect, humor, and perseverance to every project in which she has been involved. I'm very honored and pleased to honor and say congratulations to Marsha. standing up here getting this award and I want to thank the board of directors for recognizing me and also to say congratulations to Bill Davis it's a, it's a real pleasure and honor to be sharing this award with you tonight as I pondered what I wanted to say to all of you tonight my first thought was to express my profound thanks to the countless individuals who have accompanied me on this music therapy journey you know who you are <laughs> I cannot begin to thank you all by name, and you don't want to be here until about 3 a.m. listening to me. But I, I do want you to know that nobody ever receives an award such as this without the backing and support of many, many people. Perhaps we first worked together on a committee, or we sat beside each other at a concurrent session, or maybe we were part of that really solid Cleveland music therapy community that I'm really proud to say I'm part of. Maybe we edited uh, chapters and articles online well into the night and, and into the morning. Or maybe we went out to dinner together at conferences and became an annual event doing so, or were part of a project or a group 
presented together, or maybe you're just, you made some of my jobs for the association much easier because you are a valuable member of the AMTA staff. Because of a wide variety of life experiences, I'm fortunate to now call those of you who touched my life some of my very dearest and deepest friends. I must thank my family, and especially my husband Dave, who's here tonight. Dave encouraged me to go back to school when our children were preschoolers to pursue a career that I thought, and he knew, would be a good fit for me, and how right you were. From my days as an equivalency student at the Cleveland Music Therapy Consortium, to my internship, to my days as a clinician, then a university supervisor, and during the many committees and offices I've held serving in our profession, I have learned that so much from colleagues, both within and without music therapy. Uh, those people that you learn from just by watching and observing and soaking in all that information, I'm inspired by the students who keep me up. You're indeed the future of our profession. I'm humbled by the children and the families with whom I've had the privilege of serving. I'm a better person because I've learned that small successes and a smile given when sharing the gift of music is so very, very priceless. And I've learned that there's always more to learn. And that's an exciting thing for somebody who's technically retired. <laughs> I can't imagine not being involved in or being curious about the new information that surfaces every day. So much of it lends credibility to our profession. Letting others know what those of you in this room already know so well, that music therapy is the unique therapy that can reinforce all other therapies. So in closing, I urge you to embrace and stay involved in service, in giving, we truly do receive more than we could ever imagine possible. Receiving this award has verified that fact for me. May each of you be as blessed as I have been with a lifetime of working in a profession that has been and remains to this day my passion. So my deepest thanks to each of you for supporting and honoring Ladies and gentlemen.